you're here with the Mouse Vibes and we're in Long Beach because Jim and I are about to take a four day cruise. First we're going to Catalina Island, then we're off to Mexico. Mexico with Jim? You know it's about to be a party. Let's go check in and go see what the Carnival Radiance is all about. Goodness, look at this. Fun starts right now. It's time to get thunderstruck. I am so excited. A four day cruise starts right now. Jim and I got separated right away. I ran into a little bit of an issue with my COVID testing. Just to give you guys a heads up, if your results are a little bit delayed, you can do an on site rapid test. And that's what I did. So shout out to everyone at Carnival for helping me out. It was really painless. Let's go turn up and have some fun. Vacation starts now. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, and it's that iconic fin for the Carnival Cruise Lines. This is insane. This is gonna be our home for the next four days. Let's go party. This is like below deck, but 10 times better. Here we go, guys. Say goodbye to Long Beach. Goodbye, Long Beach. And hello to the Radiance. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, how are you? And right at the bar, that's my guy. Where have you been? Dude, I had to do a check-in. I had to do my COVID testing. But who would have thought I found you right at the bar? Dude, it's Robbie. First things first, we're gonna go check out our room. Jim brought his luggage with him. So he's gonna drop off his luggage, get a scope of the room, and then find this mustard dust. I'm trying to get my steps in, homie. <laughs> All right, we found our deck. Number eight, we're this way. There's our room. And then those should be our keys on it right there, dude. Let's go check. Let's check it out. So not only does our room key get us into the room, but it also controls all the amenities within the room. So we put this in. Now we can have lights at work. Oh, the quickest of room tours. You open up this guy, oh bam. We're gonna have our safety life vest right over there. This awesome safe that can hold so many valuables in it. Let's see. Boom, little storage shelf. Let's close this guy. What's in this thing? Ooh, closet, nice. And then a mirror to check myself out. What up? All right, and then you can put our luggage down there too. That's nice. And then what's up with this guy? But bam! This is if you want to hang your stuff, but you're really short, so it doesn't go all the way down. And then it has a mini fridge down here. Beautiful. This is a premium balcony room, which is actually way more spacious than I thought. It has a nice seating area, two twin beds, perfect for the weekend. You can actually request the two beds to be pushed together to make a queen bed. Oh, look at this, a little blow dryer. So you can blow dry your hair, dude. And you know this room has been renovated because they have the USB ports in here, just to let you know. Oh yeah, the bathroom. Look at this. The toilet is so close to the shower. You can do two things at the same time. Everyone loves doing that. Let me give you an idea of how big this shower is. So, you know, it's not bad. Definitely, you can use this higher, because you know, I'm like six feet. Six and stuff. Yeah, you look really tall in that shower right now, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I am. If I was like 6'4 or something, I don't know how it would fit in here, but luckily I'm like 5'8 on a good day. The best thing about this room has to be the balcony. This thing is huge. It comes with two chairs, a table, and you can see the Queen Mary before we take off. Now we're gonna drop off our stuff and we can go up to the Lido deck. I don't even know what the Lido deck is. But supposedly there's food in a bar area and then we can check in for our mustard drill and then it's officially vacation time. Let's go do all that right now. Welcome to the Lido deck. This is gonna be the main deck for your outdoor entertainment. To the left are two awesome water slides and just above it is an adult only area called Serenity. One of my favorite things are the two hot tubs to the left and the right in the stadium seating which overlooks the Jumbotron. Just under the Jumbotron is the main pool area. The Blue Iguana offers tacos and burritos all day. The Red Frog Rum Bar is one of the best bars on board. It's going to be serving up cocktails poolside. Don't forget Guy Fieri's Burger Joint for the best smash burger on board. And if you want even more big food, go check out Big Chicken, hosted by Shaquille O'Neal. Can you dig it? Now let's head to the back of the ship. The back of the ship is going to be more adult oriented. This pool seems a little bit more private, with seating all the way around and a bar to the left and the right. And just above that is Sports Square, which is actually a rope course and has more activities for the kids. Check out the iconic carnival fin. Holy smokes, this thing is huge! 
Let's walk around to the top of the deck to see what other activities are up by the fin. The fin is actually the center of a mini golf course. Not only is there an awesome mini golf course up here, there's plenty of chairs for sunbathing as well. So we were gonna grab a drink outside. Well, I grabbed a drink. Jim's papers let him know that he has to go to the mustard station before he can have another beverage. So we're headed down to the mustard station. I don't know, we gotta see some safety protocol for the boat. I get it. I've already had two beers. Nick's on his first one. Mm -hmm. So I think we both have to do it. If you get another beer, you're gonna be cut mm -hmm. off. So well, Good, I'm about to get my mustard on. No, no, dude, just, dude, dude, come on. Five minutes later. We just finished up our mustard drill and that was nice and easy, really painless. I was able to hold my Coors Light. Our mustard station was actually located within the liquid lounge, which looks like the main stage here. This place is awesome. You know, honestly, before we go any further, I'm gonna ask you a couple questions and this has nothing to do with anything, you know, but quick question. If you had to pick a color, would it be black or pink? Black. If you had to pick between a spirit animal, would it be a flamingo or a, a tiger? Tiger. Interesting. All right. 100%. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. Like that. Tigers eat flamingos, dude. You gotta stay on top. I'm a Leo, a tiger. So Jim and I have made our way to the back of the ship to kind of explore a little bit. We're still about an hour out from actually getting out of Long Beach. And it's so cool, this boat is massive. There's so much stuff that we're gonna have to see here. We're getting great views of the Queen Mary and we can even see jet skiers. That was Jim and I in the Patreon video. That was you, Jim. It's crazy seeing the jet skiers from this vantage point. We look like little ants out there, Nick. What do you think of the ship so far? What do you think about the back of the boat? Getting the layout of the ship has been fun. Walking around, I kind of know where things are at now. Before, I was just like lost, so. Still a bit lost. We still have a lot of exploring to do because I need to find my way around the ship But I'm ready to have some fun and turn out dude. Here we go. Here we go The only thing I'm disappointed in right now is that we got to the front of the ship and that's as close as we can go That broke all hopes of you and I recreating the scene from Titanic, dude I was just gonna say that. Dang it. Honestly, when you said we're going on a cruise, my mind straight went to Titanic I mean, that was in like 1912 though, Nick. It's 2022. People can't go on the front of the boat. Are you crazy? I, I call being Leonardo Capro if we get to do that photo later. You can be the other guy that no one remembers his name. I'm the king of the world! Three, two, one! <laughs> The copywritten music is off. It's officially a cruise. <laughs> We're out to sea, dude. Can't really see land anymore, so time for a drink. Holy Chronopolis, we just found a beer station over here, and then you have to touch here to pour your beer. It's so listening to me from the Thirsty Frog. Obviously, that's Jim. Slide your card, dude. This is cheers. Oh, it comes. Dude, it's here comes. Oh, what? You didn't even have to do anything. Dreams come true, Jim. Dreams really do come true. <laughs> I mean, look at this plate, it's a little bit of everything. We call that a smorgasbord. I got a quesadilla with some black beans. That's definitely lasagna. Prosciutto, underneath that's roast beef. A little roll, obviously, because on vacation, don't tell Ashley. And then some type of rice, I don't know, but I'm Asian, so I got rice. I have to go rice, dude. Obviously, I'm gonna go for the quesadilla because I had a burrito earlier. Why not follow it up with the quesadilla? Five vibes, obviously. Thank you, Nick, for booking this cruise. Tell me where to sign, I'm there every time. As much as it, I think it's me and I like came up with the idea, Ashley's really the pioneer about it. She's the best. Her superpower is booking trips, and even though we're missing her, thank you for doing it, Ash. Ashley, you're the best, I love you, you know that. Nice vibes, five vibes all day. There's one flight of stairs uh, mastered. If you guys don't know, I am the whale master and everywhere I go in the ocean I see whales. Boom, whales, humpback whales. 50 yards off throw, right there. There's like three of them. Dude, how sick is that?
All right, I'm gonna say it now. The one thing I was not expecting was how breathtaking everything has been today. Somewhere in the Pacific, passing a Royal Caribbean trip that looks massive with this beautiful sunset. And this is just night one, guys. How incredible is this? We got great lighting right now, so say something about your first cruise. How do you feel right now? I've been waiting for you to ask me this all day. I've never been on a cruise, guys. This is the first time ever, and it was hard for me to wrap my mind around what was going on. When we got on the boat, it was like so much going on at one time. I didn't know what was what, but like now that we've like sailed the sea a little bit, we're cruising, the sun's setting. It's on, dude, this is awesome, I love it. This is so beautiful. Like I had my doubts about a cruise, but so far the service, the food, everything has been over the top and amazing. And just remember, this is just day one. We're getting it started. Obviously a full day at Catalina tomorrow. Good morning, Catalina Island. Blue ocean, blue skies. Oh, there's Catalina. Holy smokes, it is gorgeous. It never gets old walking on the patio, your balcony, and then having this awesome view. Jim, how are you feeling after last night? I'm ready to roll, brother. Let's do it. A nice little happy accident. We were able to find our water taxi. We're zone 11. We have about 30 minutes, so we're gonna hurry up and grab. Yeah, this is hectic. Breakfast is served, let's go. Well, good morning to me. Salmon Egg Benedict to start off. And it's five vibes. Egg Benedict, a little bit of salmon. With this incredible view over here in Catalina, this is gonna be insane. There's no better way to start off. Actually take that back. Jim is at the bar getting us a couple breakfast cocktails. All right, something else that we're learning is that the morning rush is definitely real and it's hectic. The breakfast spots, all of them were insane. Like hour long lines, the buffet looked like people were gonna smash you down. So we ate and ran. Now we're headed downstairs to catch our water taxi to actually go over to Catalina because you don't actually dock there, you have to do a water taxi. Have a good time and welcome to Catalina. Thanks, man. Woo! We're in Catalina. I've never been here before. Jim, you've never been here, right? No, this is the first time in Catalina. So. Couple first timers. We have no plans, obviously. Uh, we're just gonna figure it out. I think we're gonna try to rent a golf cart or something. First impressions of Catalina, it's beautiful here. The water is awesome. The marina here has got all these awesome boats. There's like million dollar homes up here. When are we moving here? ASAP. I guess like 4,000 people live on the island. Chicago Cubs used to spring training here. Yeah, shout out to the Wrigley family. You know, we could be the fourth thousand of one and two person to move here for move here totally all right here we go all right Catalina we got a golf cart and here we go here we go Beautiful. Like the town has got so much character. The buildings are awesome. I feel like we're in the town of Jaws. Yes, totally Jaws. Right? Jaws, 100% Jaws. Jaws. It's like super nautical. Everyone's friendly. This is next level. We just pulled over for the first like scenic spot. Catalina is beautiful. We're trying to find our way all the way up to the top, but this view right here is so good. It doesn't get much better than this. We have a perfect day here, not a cloud in the sky. I love this. Catalina is so much fun. Ashley, we need to come back here one day. Did you expect Catalina to be this cool? No, I have not seen one picture of Catalina before coming here, and I've always heard about it. I heard it was great. Five out of five vibes, you guys. I would come back here anytime. Heck yeah. The only thing I've ever heard about Catalina is that they throw great wine mixers. I haven't seen any wine, but dude, look at this. Where's the Catalina wine mixer? <laughs> it's the biggest helicopter leasing event in the Western Hemisphere since 1997. You're watching Mouse Vibes, let's go. Breaking all kind of laws. We're not supposed to be stopped on this thing, but there's like breathtaking views everywhere. Oh, and then there's your mom coming to get you, Jim. You're not supposed to be doing that. 
We're used to the golf cart now. Nick keeps grabbing the handle like every five seconds. Like, yeah, dude, I don't feel that safe. I don't have a seatbelt on, obviously, and I got my camera in my hand, so I have one hand to brace myself. Honestly, if you're coming to Catalina, you have to do the golf cart experience. It's a good way to get a lot of the land covered in 35 minutes. We basically hit up everything on this side of the island, and we have some time to spare. I wasn't sure about the golf cart or what the lay of the land was, but a golf cart, five out of five vibes. Or I'm sure the locals must hate tourists of these damn golf carts. I have no idea where they're going. We've been that guy like four times already. <laughs> So we're exploring Wrigley Plaza right now, and this town is so unique. You have the beach on one side, the walkway in the middle, with all the different pedestrians just kind of walking and hanging out. And on this side, it's gonna be all shops and restaurants with the hotels above it. This place has so much compacted in such a small space, I love it. And that was visiting Catalina, Avalon. It was awesome over here. Smokes, we have a new friend. It's an elephant. It's a towel elephant. I'm gonna name him Wild Bill. Wild Bill. <laughs> so Wild Bill, nice to meet you. You know what, you're supposed to use the towels, but I feel like he's a mascot. We should keep him for the weekend. Yeah, dude. What's up, Wild Bill? And we are dressed for formal night. Formal night, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go get it. Uncle Jim is looking awesome right now in the seafoam green shirt. Vibe check, look, look at this. Boom, brown shoes, slacks. He's ready, he understood. I get it, I got the assignment, check. You know, it's 5.45, the earliest that we could possibly eat dinner. Let's head over there right now, dude. Really? Jim was able to throw out the mouse vibes name and we got this awesome table right here in the middle of the dining room. At least it's private. I'm about to ask us for uh, for a different table. Dude. What do you think? Well, I want everyone to see him and ask you to be my best friend in the world right now. Margaritas in hand. You know we're classy gentlemen who paired our margaritas with prime rib. Margaritas, prime rib, please. <laughs> we're ready to grab. We got so many different appetizers, and down here in the dining room, you can actually feel the boat moving more than ever. I didn't know I was seasick until like right now. Yeah, 100%. The boat is moving right now. Our first salad of the whole weekend, too. We've been eating just so much fried food. You've been eating fried food, dude. I had rice and beans yesterday and some hot sauce. I just had you on camera eating a fried oyster. You got me there, but. Caesar salad, croutons, parmesan. It's a showtime! They do shows here? Dinner or show? Wait, does Caesar actually live here? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think so. Alright Jim, I don't know who you know on the Carnival Radiance. What is this? Tequila. Oh gosh. Cheers guys, enjoy it and take care. Cheers to you, thank you for everything. Yeah. What about yours? You yes like please. Thank you. Eight, eight course menu. Perfect, thank you so much. Ooh, dinner was so good. That was the first time we've actually done dining within the dining room. It's kind of a situation. We end up waiting like 30 minutes. Not bad, considering there's 2,000 people on board and they're trying to serve everybody. The food for me, I would say is just okay. The service though was exceptional. Five vibes all around. Okay, Jim, what was your thoughts on the dining experience? Honestly, the best part of the dining experience was Ardika. Ardika? He was the man, loved him. We're gonna go see him tomorrow night. He's like, honestly, my best friend now. The dining experience is all right. The yes. table was like mediocre. Give the table three out of five vibes. The prime rib, four out of five vibes. It was fun. But Artica made the whole thing. He gave us free booze. Awesome. I feel the same way. The food was just okay, but the service was like next level. Eating a helicopter from the United States Coast Guard. This helicopter will be taking our guests safely to San Diego, where we are headed towards. Helicopter coming on board right now. Should we go try to get on it? Yeah. After the announcement, many of the guests went to the top deck to see what the commotion was all about. A helicopter came in from the coast. It looked like it was something from a Vietnam movie. Once the helicopter was in position, it was game on.
The Coast Guard rappelled down to retrieve our victim, and they were in and out in just 15 minutes. These guys are true heroes. This event quickly sobered us up. We called it a night to get ready for our next day in Ensenada. Good morning and welcome to Ensenada, Mexico. We're in Baja, California. This is the third day. Jim, we're in Mexico. We're in a foreign country right now. We just got off a cruise ship. Do you boys like Mexico? You boys like Mexico? But on the agenda today, we're gonna go try this Marisco's taco spot. It's supposed to be one of the best food vendors in the world, according to Anthony Bourdain. There's actually a bar over here too that's home to the margarita, so we're gonna put it to the test and try the birthplace of margaritas. All right, in typical Nick and Jim fashion, we didn't really do too much research on anything. We're kind of just walking out of this port, but this could either be a make or break moment of not having a plan or knowing what we're doing. I feel like it's just right there, dude. So we didn't even make it like a quarter mile down the road. Found a spot to grab margaritas, homemade uh, chips and salsa. Like I had to turn my mind back to Mexico mode. I think I'm in the right mind state. Viva la Mexico. This is a happy accent. These chips are five vibes. They're so awesome. But we have to find this Marisco taco spot. Anthony Bourdain ate there. Peter, Kitra, Kidder all told me I had to go get there and get some food. It's our mission. First a margarita, then Marisco's tacos, and then the best day ever in Ensenada. All right, now we are officially in Mexico, Jim. Woo! Boom. Oh my god, five vibes. I ordered a spicy marg on the cruise ship and I just wasn't impressed. Even the margs last night at dinner was like super sugary, but now they're in Mexico, look at these tiny jalapenos in here. This is a real spicy margarita, you guys. We have found it. Ooh. Whoa, look at this bar. These are all dollar bills. It's like a million dollars in tips right here. Even the camera thing over here, there's dollars all around it. And a hidden Mickey. Boom, hidden Mickey in Mexico. We're getting a pen right now. We're gonna put mouse vibes on this and put it on the dollar wall. So if you ever come over here, look out for Jim and I's signature. Yeah, if you ever come to Ensenada and come to this awesome bar, you'll see it at mouse vibes. We'll check back in one second. All right, we found the perfect spot. When you guys come in, it's right by the cast register. Now we're official, man. That dollar's gonna be here forever. Donate a dollar to this bar. This is five vibes, love it. Eureka, we found our Marisco spot. It's definitely it. Uh, there's signs for Anthony Bourdain all around here, and it's definitely the longest line of anything that we've come across so far in Ensenada. I'm ready to grub, man. All this looks really good. Ashley, where are you today to try all the seafood? We're gonna have it for you in your honor. All right, dude, what are you gonna get? I don't know what anything is. We just got a couple of recommendations. There's definitely a lot of crab meat, a lot of shrimp, but I'm a little worried. He just pulled out a whole octopus and now I'm cutting it up right now. It's a little intense. This is gonna be a tostada with crab meat, avocado, Octopus and scallops. Look at this thing. Now we're finally in Mexico. How do we even attack this? This is amazing. This is the best thing I've had on the trip so far. I know street food can kind of seem sketchy, especially in a foreign country. This place is clean. They're just wheeling and dealing out here. I don't know how many tostadas they go through in a day. This place is awesome. This is a must do when you come to Ensenada. Viva la Mexico. Oh my God. That might be the best thing I've ever ate in my whole life. Anthony Bourdain wouldn't lie to you. All the seafood is super fresh. The avocados are on point. They have this awesome cream sauce in there that is just five vibes. Just a price check. When we initially went up there, Jim saw $130. He's like, dude, that's really expensive street food. But it came out to $6.10. So still kind of expensive, but totally worth it because everything was so fresh. That was the best street food I've ever had. All right, we've made our way over to Hassan's. This is one of the oldest bars here in Ensenada. It's also home to the margarita. Unfortunately, we ran out of money or pesos and I didn't feel like pulling any money out. So we're limited on funds. So we got two services at the house of margaritas. Go figure, Nick and Jim style. No, so it's like he's more <laughs> That's gonna wrap up everything in Ensenadas. We're headed back to the boat. We still have a full day of boat activities. We're gonna go to the bar, obviously, upstairs. Probably go check out some food over at Guy Fieri's tonight. But today's just basically gonna be a leisure day. And then tomorrow's a full day at sea, headed back over to Long Beach. Let's turn up now. Whoa, I got a hat on.
another beautiful night on the balcony. Ensenada was too much fun, but I need to get some food in me. And let's turn up tonight, guys. Say it in so, guy! Say it in so! It's close. It's close. The one constant you can always find here is the pizza place. That's open the latest as well. Uh, and this probably has been dishing out the most meals throughout the whole trip. So you can always get pizza, Jim. Nick's favorite spot. I don't eat pizza, but oh. Nick loves pizza. He actually told the guy, the stewardess, on our floor, the eighth floor, at 10 o'clock every night he wants four pieces of pizza. Yeah, he hasn't done it once, but it's the thought that counts. <laughs> Mega deck party was definitely five vibes. That was the best entertainment so far. Shout out to everyone we met tonight. Everyone was super cool, especially our guy Joey. Ashley and Nick, like, if you were my parents, I'd be okay. <laughs> the vibes were on the next level, but it gets even more awesome. We have one more day on the boat. It's a full day at sea, sailing from Ensenada all the way back up to Long Beach. So we have a full day on board. We're gonna do all the water slides and all that great stuff. Pardon how I look, I just woke up, but good morning. It is day four of our cruise, a full day at sea. And what makes this day even more special is how we're gonna surprise Jimmy for an early birthday celebration. He has no idea. This guy's just waking up right now. Let's go surprise him and get our day started. Jim, hurry up, get out of here. My good morning, dude, it is our final day of our cruise. Do you remember how I asked you a string of questions this weekend? If you had to pick a color, would it be black or pink? All right. If you had to pick between a spirit animal, would it be a flamingo or a, a tiger? Tiger. Interesting. All right. All that made sense will make way more sense right now, but I have a little surprise for you. It's a little early birthday celebration for Jim. Jim's birthday's in a couple days. Come over here and lift this up. Hey, yo! <laughs> Dude, what is this? <laughs> it's a black tiger outfit. I have to wear this? Oh, yeah. Show, show what's in there. In here? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. That's no you. Way. But don't worry, you're not gonna be alone on this mission because Hello! Flamingo outfit! Boom! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have to wear this all day? All day. All right, last thing, you gotta read the card. You're just like a kid. You open your gift without reading the card. I just had a heart attack. <clears throat> Happy birthday, dude. May your spirit animal guide you to the best year of your life. Nick, Roa, Ashley, Elliot. Let's do a quick change. Just do the arm thing. Oh, look how awesome you look. Dude, you're right. You this is awesome. I love this. You look real leisure. Thanks. All right, let me get changed at you. Here's mine. Oh, look at this. I look awesome. Which way to the Lido deck? You've been hiding this from me the whole time. I ordered these from China about a month ago. Now that we're stepping out into the hallway, these outfits aren't that noticeable, right? What a surprise this morning. Thank you, Nick and Ashley, for giving me this awesome attire. It looks badass. Everybody knows it, but I don't know how long it's going to last. He's a real full power range right now. He is the tiger. I am the flamingo. Let's make our way over to get brunch right now. I need a little bit of breakfast, maybe a mimosa. I haven't had a mimosa this whole week, so mimosa time. Even though I'm very thankful to be on this cruise and get food here every day, I'm not exactly thrilled with the, all the options on the buffet. There is an omelet station, but the line is super long, so you kind of have to get there early and hold it down. I'm gonna enjoy this Eggs Benedict. I just wish there was more options throughout the entire trip, but it's all good. Jim is grabbing us a couple of mimosas, and we're ready to turn up with our awesome outfits on. Mimosas are on pause. Let's do all the activities on the upper deck. They have mini golf up there and some kind of like ropes course. We're gonna do all that right now. There you go, Jim. It's all on right. the hips. We got it. <laughs> he shoots his scores! Duh. Come on, man. Dude, how did you make that? 
That's how it's done, baby. I'm a champion of mini golf. <sighs> Up next for the Radiance Classic, hole number four. Let's talk about the Radiance Classic. Honestly, that's gonna be on the PGA Tour coming soon. A one by one stroke, guys. But that's just one of the little games that we're gonna be playing today on our full uh, day at sea. Let's go turn up and do the ropes course. Well, holy line, everyone had the same idea. Do they take Genie here, the Genie Plus or Fast Pass? The ropes course is a little bit too busy right now. We're gonna let the rush die down. Hopefully in this afternoon, it'll be a little bit easier to get on. Maybe when all the water slides are open, people will migrate that way. This is our final day at sea, so I thought I was gonna be able to use the water slides. Both the water slides are down for the day. I don't know if they're gonna be open. That's a kind of a bummer. I'm not sure if it's down because they're not working or what, but hopefully these open up soon. It is a packed pool day at our final day at sea. It is hectic outside. We made our way up to Serenity. Well, I did. Jim was too embarrassed, so he went downstairs and changed out of his awesome birthday outfit. He was supposed to be wearing it all day, and he gave up after he played a little bit of basketball on it. Everyone give him a hard time in the comments. So even though the water slides aren't running, and there's no way I'm getting into that pool that all the kids have been swimming in this weekend, the Red Frog is doing a movie of trivia that we have to go check out. Everyone knows my specialty is movie trivia. Do we all have our papers and passes out there ready? Let's get it. Yeah, the whole nice and high paper. there. Just make sure. Good luck, Charm. Right, Good your stuff. answers, you're gonna need a bigger boat. I think I'm gonna need a bigger drink. <laughs> it's a time to flex about useless knowledge it's right now. Have you ever seen a grown man naked? <laughs> the, that's a quote. <laughs> I'm not asking you. I actually know that one. Okay, that's the close. <laughs> I promise. Okay? Do you like gladiator movies? Gladiator movies? <laughs> Joey, did you ever hang around the gymnasium? Do you like movies about gladiators? Super California, this is the case of Did you get that one, Nick? The channel's called Mouse Vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, not too bad. 18 out of 20. My mom would have been stoked if I did that through high school, but too bad it's only for useless movie knowledge. Good evening, just waking up from a long nap. It's our last night on the cruise ship, so we're about to go out with a bang. I haven't seen Jim in the last few hours. No idea where he is. If anyone sees him, call back or comment in this video so we know he's safe and sound. It's our last night, guys. Let's go out with a bang. I'm gonna go upstairs and do a sushi to $20 add-on experience. We're gonna grub and eat good tonight. I wasn't really feeling the diner experience, and uh, the buffet is just not really for me. So let's live like kings and eat super good today and get our sushi on. This is so satisfying. Look at the placeholders and the menu. Even the chopsticks have branding on it, which is super cool. And then they give you a QR for the menu over here as well. A little bit of sushi goes a long way. I'm so excited to come here and eat. This already is gonna be my favorite meal of the trip. Everything looks super fresh, super easy. Miso soup on the last day might cure my soul a little bit. I've been eating like crap this entire trip. Let's get some sushi, you guys. So inside we put tofu, tortara cheese, ping on it, and this is the chicken stuff and miso too. That looks terrific, thank you so much. The presentation already with the miso soup is already five vibes. We got some spicy edamame as well. And then of course a Japanese beer to wash it all down. Rule number one, anytime I get miso soup, no spoon. You gotta just drink it out of the bowl. It's like the perfect cure for my soul right now. I'm just eating fried food and burgers all week. <laughs> Let's try the edamame. Oh my goodness. This is my meal. This is the bento box. This is gonna be like basically the starter kit for a one-person meal here at Bonsai Sushi. So let's see what we got. So we have a side salad to start off with. That looks super tasty. Then we're gonna have six pieces of California roll. California roll isn't normally my favorite or go-to roll, but this likes it'll get the job done tonight. And then the three specialty pieces of sushi that I come with, we're gonna have the shrimp. The tuna right here, it's supposed to be a yellowtail tuna, but that doesn't look like that. And then we also have salmon. I love all of this. California roll to start. Also, they have this sauce on top. I'm not exactly sure. It tastes like a creamy like mayo. Needless, it's good. After I douse it in my wasabi with a little bit of soy. Next, we're gonna do the shrimp. 
This thing looks super good. It's got its little tail on the end. Also, if you guys don't know, the proper way to eat this is to put the rice on top and the fish closest on your tongue. That way you get all the taste into it. Let's go. The shrimp is just okay, actually. I don't like that one that much. The wasabi starting to kick in. I can breathe again. My sinuses are on point. A little trick there from mom. Thank you, mom. Next, we'll do this tuna. And this thing is super fatty. There you go. That's so good, man. Each bite just opens up my sinuses a little bit more. I need some of this Japanese beer. All right, last but not least is the salmon. This is always my favorite one. Oh my gosh. That was the best for last. The salmon is definitely five vibes. Overall, the bento box is a great value. It's only $12 more than a normal meal here and totally worth it. This is a great value. This is by far my favorite meal on board the ship. Back from dinner, that was so good. The food over at Bonsai Sushi was definitely five vibes, my favorite meal. One of the things I wasn't really prepared for was how exhausting a cruise was. Even though this is only a four night cruise, I am beat, guys. I feel like I've been at Disney World for the last four days. I'm exhausted. There's an 80s party going up there on the roof, but I think I'm just gonna wind down tonight and take it easy. But I kind of wanted to chat about my overall cruise experience using Carnival Radiance. There are a lot of things I was unprepared for, and that was on me. Uh, the Carnival Cruise is definitely a good time. If you want to turn up, have a great time, visit a few different cities in a short amount of time, the cruise life is definitely for you. There are a few things I would definitely plan for for the next cruise to make it a little bit different. One thing I would definitely want to do is bring Ashley. It's so different not traveling with her. The booze package, that's one thing i definitely keep. That was probably the best value of the whole weekend. I would have loved to do more things on the boat. Unfortunately, the slides weren't working today. Things like that happened. That would have definitely been a turn up today. But the overall service and how nice everyone was was definitely five vibes. I can't stress enough, everyone working on the ship was incredible. I didn't have one bad thing to say about anything. Uh, maybe the dining in the dining room. But besides that, what can you do? Overall, I felt very, very safe on this cruise, which is one of the things I was like, is it gonna be safe? Or just getting over COVID, still in it, is it okay? I felt great. Everything was top-notch clean, and that's gonna wrap up our Carnival Cruise series here. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps us grow, and if not, thanks for stopping by.